Hello, BGG Mastermind here with another how to video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the data command. So, we're going to start off with data get block. So, you're just going to, the way this works, it's going to get data from a block. Who would have guessed? So, first, we have data, get block, the coordinates that you want at the block, and then the actual MBT tag that you're wanting to get the data from, the path, then the scale, which is usually going to be one. So this is going to be checking to see if there's at least one record inside the jukebox. And if it is, it's going to return one in the output down here. So if I press that, you see record items count to count on block, the location of the block, after a scale factor of 1.0 is 1. So that means it worked. If we take the disk out and do it, you see found no elements matching record item. So it failed because there's zero records in there. Next is the same thing but with an entity. So you're just going to do data get entity, the entity that you want, then the path to the tag you want, and then the scale. Press the button, you see he is on the ground. So it returned one. If he wasn't, it'll be zero. Or it'll say it can't be found. Okay, so next we have data merge block. What this does, it's actually going to put an item in the chest. And that item is going to be one stone block in the first slot of the chest. And that chest is going to be right above the command block. So when you push that, we get the stone. You can also do the same for entities, data merge entity, the entity, and then the MBT tag. So we have hand items, and then in its right hand is going to have a diamond sword and one of it. Or I guess the left, the left hand. I guess the spots for that are backwards. So that's the right hand and this is the left hand. And you have to put a count there, otherwise it won't work. Now we have a data remove block, one above it, and then we have items, and then closed uh, square brackets or uh, empty square brackets and we have a full chest above it so what this is going to do is when I press that it's going to completely clear out that chest now if we put a number in here like zero and refill this chest and press it you see only cleared out the first slot. If we do 23, it clears out the 22nd slot because it starts from zero. And last we have remove entity. The entity and the tag which is going to be the hand items in slot zero for the right hand yeah right hand click the button and the sword gets removed from his hand uh there is also a data modif modify block and entity but those uh 
you can pretty much use merge instead and get the exact same result for most cases. When I look at this, it's basically the same. It's just you format it slightly different. So I'm not gonna bother showing that off. Maybe at a later time, I might change my mind and make a second video on the data command showing that. But for now, that's going to be it for the data command. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.